because their their playstyle to me was to pick a mid that rotates and then throw the side lanes. And then you got the last godly spells to steal this game. Yeah, I mean, what's sort of top of the list for him? I mean, already that top lane, the, the power of the two of them, as you say, a lot of damage from Lion and Visage. As they can't go for when you're playing versus these tanky offlaners. XXS again, top. It's just a, a very difficult place for Corey to be, and he's going to turn and get the curse off, but we'll go down again. We'll see if Tier 2000 can find Baboka in return. He can't verify, will not save Baboka. Tier 2000 finds one of them, won't be able to get XXS around this, these towers, especially if Amar is off to a good start and gets the top quick timing. They get the catch, and they've got, got the burst. Nicely done. I mean, yeah. She's seeing anything as Sumail. This time he won't get lucky. This is a Kaori big... again. Kaori. They're going to run him down. He's not even going to get his own bounty room. Baboka's able to steal that. It's another death on the side. It's a four deaths already. Corey's having a tough early game. See if they, they can. Yeah, Pichu. He's been surrounded. See if Baboka and XS has to do anything to help out. They have got the stun. Nice stunts. Next as well. They managed to hold back Noob a little bit, but they'll still lose Pichu. They'll get the pulverize onto XXS. He's out of options as well. Good run. Full free farm. Bottom, Baboka. Last word does connect onto him. They've got the grab of free kill. If we want to just still try to pressure any time that you can around mid, or any time you see any of these heroes low on the side of quest. Omar is a bit low, they're going to try to go for mid. Omar, get the setup onto him. Uh, so easily, how many men the four of them? Corey. I believe they will. As indeed, yeah, they're aware of stuff going down now, Corey. There Very won't well. be any escape for him. <laughs> uh, but uh, all part of the plan, noobs. Uh, spawning top is still a shield That's a very good one. That's a really good one to hold a tower in particular. Yeah, this, tier, this, this tier 2 tower push is going to get a bit complicated now for us. They do, of course, have Aegis and BKB and Monet. Okay, the stun. I mean, Sumail is in deep. He's going in super deep. See if he can live through this. They get the lift up into the pulverize. Oh, oh, he's getting low indeed. The turnaround's there in time. Omar will die, but the damage has been done. Samael is out. So is the Boca. Pichu's in trouble. They have to split. They've got to run here, Ash. Can they Wait, run? They're Dude's after them. Down. Onslaughts at the ready, closing in the, onto the gap onto Mone. Chakram from Amar connects. Mone, he's down the once, and of course he's going to be back for round two. He'd already used the BKB the first time he round. Is so dead. He is in a whole world of pain. Mone surrounded. Quest take him out. The tier two's defended. I mean, they barely did any damage at all there, Aster, to the tower. Open. Respects the fact that the tier two's still there. He's going to go in again, though, okay, anyway. He doesn't respect it that much. He, JK. He, he tries for the <laughs> TP, but Onslaught's back up for Monet in these fights because he's just going to get everything, all his stats sapped from him. Now, noobs, he's happy to show himself down. He yep. knows he's pretty much invincible. Level 15 with a BKB, ready to pop. Too tanky. Kaori, <laughs> looks like he might go down perhaps again, actually, the Glimmer. Take a look to turn it. Amar's hit, as well as Noob. They turn, put the BKB on towards XXS. XXS. He got the key off. He got the shard, uh, the shard off there. He is able to buy some time here. Oh, under, but, uh, Monet's dead. And now with the global, with the silence of the curse, they're looking to push on towards XXS. Baboka's smell will try and sub provide some sort of support. The stun but catches out new, but it, what, what was going on with the Lunar Fog? Monet just, he died to the, the, the Morphling and the Morph Rubik, and now everyone else is dying. Everyone else is dying indeed. Pichu chased down by a mile. Get the soul rip off. I mean, from the side, tier 2000 just wraps around. They've taken out three, they've taken Jesus. out four. I mean, these guys are way too good. <laughs> yeah, it's like they have to deton they have to blow up one here, but I feel like they have to expend literally everything to maybe even not get that kill. As Quest is sneaking in. Oh, yeah, Quest is ready to go. Jump forward, they're onto the high ground. Straight away, Noobs in with the pulverized jumps. The back lines finds Pichu. Corey in trouble, but no, the glimmer's there. Corey's gonna be fine. The buyback will come out from Pichu. As Asta, they have to split. Monet. They're focusing XXS. XXS will be able to protect himself for now with the stone form. Monet ready to use BKB. And now Quest, they can look to just really continue to push the issue here. As the tombstone will get dropped down, they'll be able to focus towards it. Poboka gets completely destroyed. TA fans and puts the BKB. He's looking to try and stay on top of Samel now. Turns the episode over towards XXS. As XXS does focus down Corey. Will manage to kill him. So a dieback on the silencer. Jump forward from Omar. He gets the telekinesis onto XXS. As the visage is gone. Amar just bullying both Pichu and Samael. As they'll turn their attention over towards Noob, but Noob, he's got back up. TA2000 wave forms forward aggressively. Noob's able to onslaught back up at the same the high gone. ground. TA2000 is pretty untouchable. Same to be said for Amar. Samael, XXS, they have to back away from this. XXS, of course, buying back, trying to get into this fight to help out Amar. Whoop, forward. What a stun! They're able to catch Samael here with the stolen stun. Samael tried to turn himself, but his own stun will miss. Amar has the chakram down. Noob with the pulverized. Samael is gone. Quest, they take the fight. Kaori! Hey, <laughs> he dies twice. He's seven of the ten deaths. Yep. But it doesn't matter. Yeah, the, the three cores just... The super kind of elusive core is just swinging in... in.
an instant four staff. He's even looking to set up for Sumail because he knows Sumail does not have the BKB. Yeah, they saw him pop it on the defense down bottom. So Omar is going to start playing around with Sumail. He's got a stun. He actually whips Sumail it. He's going to try and TP out, but the onslaught's there from Noob as they've caught Sumail and they've killed him off. He's out for 50. As well from Sumail, which is he knows the game's in a pretty hopeless yeah. position. So. He goes for the risky farm, he knows it's probably not going to go well, but he also knows that regardless of what he does at this point, it's probably not going to go well for Aston. Yeah, exactly. Not okay. a west. Look at Noob. Zero damage being taken. As a, a free initiation for him every time. It Blink, he be global. Good luck going against that. There's nothing nothing you can do against it. Nope. And TA2000, he's like, okay, I'm a Luna. I push her axes nice and fast here. It's a full set mid. They'll look towards down the, to, to take down the bottom as well. Still a minute left on the Aegis, too. They're going for Monet again. There's the jump, Noob. Uh, this time Monet gets the BKB off. He's in the Tombstone. He's into the Tombstone for now. It'll give him a little bit of safety. Tier 2000 caught by the Hex. That's the Aegis taken out of the hands of Tier 2000. But Amar, he's in with the Chakram on top of Monet and Pichu. Monet can't get back to the Fountain. Out for 100 seconds. A die back on him. As XX tries his best to bring Omar down. Will get him, but it costs him his life. Three dead. No buybacks, and they'll tap out. GG is called as Quest Esports looking pretty impossible to beat in this game one. I mean, a pretty flawless game from them again, as we've just come to expect. I feel like the supports, they're the ones to die a lot. Ten of the 11 deaths from the side of Quest, it yep. was those supports. So they know who to give up the kills on, and they know how to wait for timings. And just yeah, They know that Aster's on a timer. They take the perfect fight around that tier two, devastate them completely as... They were never even really behind in this game at all. They kind of kept they, it they really like within like a gold or two, maybe it took like 3,000 or something and lead for Aster, maybe for like a hot second, but not even that as Quest. Yep, I mean, what do you do to defeat these guys? They just seem, yeah, they just seem too damn good at understanding how to play versus this.